What is going on guys? Welcome back to another vlog from Sri Lanka. When we first got to Sri Lanka, we started our, out our journey in the west, in the Gombo. Then we went more central to Kandy, we visited Sigiriya, and now we're down south. We're in this beautiful beach town called Marissa, and we're going to show you guys all of it. There's some pristine beaches here, and this is the first time on this trip that we're, at, we're on beaches, and we're super excited. It's beautiful out here, it's hot and we can't wait to show you guys everything. This is the resort that we're staying at. It's called Marissa Golden Resort. They have different types of rooms. They have AC rooms and non-AC rooms. And they obviously have Wi-Fi and hot water, which are essentials. And we obviously did get the AC room this time around because otherwise it's super hot. Most rooms still have fans, but the AC does do wonders, especially at nighttime when you're not sweating and trying to sleep. We didn't show you guys a room tour and it is quite messed up right now, so I think we'll skip that on this part, but you've seen enough to kind of get an idea. It's the same as everywhere else, just a bed and we got the shower and all that. It's about 8 a.m. here right now and we haven't had breakfast yet, so we're gonna go do that. But before we go get breakfast, we have to go get money from the ATM because we've been blowing through our cash. We made it to the main street in Marissa and it was not hard to find an ATM. You can see a giant red sign right there with the words ATM on it. Marissa is pretty touristy. There is like a massive strip of resorts along the beach and uh, there comes a killer bus right there. There's many killer buses out here. You gotta be careful with the buses like we've mentioned in the past. They drive like crazy in Sri Lanka. It's pretty intense. So we've really been trying to gauge just how much money to pull out for the trip because the problem is that every time you pull money out there's a service fee that gets charged and we want to avoid those as much as possible obviously. But we kind of miscalculated this time around and we need a little bit more. So that's what we're doing right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and have breakfast right after. And this is what the Sri Lankan money looks like. It's very colorful, just like our Canadian money. And the bills get smaller and smaller as the numbers go down. It's not all the same size. We pulled out about 40,000, which is $150 Canadian. We'll see if it's enough for the trip. So you can see Attila is limping and that's because we had a little accident on the beach the other day. We're going to insert a clip right now explaining what happened. So guys, if you remember in the past couple of vlogs, we we're telling you about the sea urchins. It's full of spikes, so if you step on it, they'll get stuck in your skin and like I was, gonna, like I was saying, you're not going to have a good day. My knee my hands they're kind of destroyed because we're swimming and we were in the middle of the ocean and there was just a rock out of nowhere and i like went on it and as you can tell yeah we already took the spikes out but it's quite painful we're gonna go back and clean it up and just be careful when you're swimming in the ocean so right here where our hotel is it's probably about three minutes from the beach and this whole area is covered with guest houses, with homestays and different kind of resorts. And when you go to the beach, it's very interesting because there are zero locals. It's all tourists on the beach. So we made it to breakfast and we actually came to this exact same spot for breakfast yesterday because we've been in Marissa for two days now. And because of my injury, because of this sea urchin injury, I, we didn't vlog because I can't really walk too far and I still can't but today we're just gonna take tuk-tuks everywhere we want to show you guys and this place is absolutely beautiful for breakfast it's right on the beach you can see the beach over there and it's beautiful and you can ask for a better view you can see the surfers on the water and everything like that and there are tons of spots like hotels and stuff down the beach where you can eat and it's uh, same view beautiful beaches all over can we get number four two of them and can we get one with bacon one with ham both with uh, the fruits and both with coffee. Uh, fried egg omelet, Mr. Campbell. Uh, could I get a fried omelet? Omelet. Yes. Omelet, one ham, one bacon. Yes. Uh, two coffee, two fruits. Yes. And how did you want your eggs? Anyway. Anyway. Okay, regular. 
<laughs> as you can tell our breakfast just arrived we got an assortment of items here we got a nice omelet with bacon and some toast and there's also butter and jam we got some fresh fruit fruit sliced up as you can tell they're really nice they got the same thing except she got ham instead of the bacon and she also has her fresh fruits over there and we also have coffee and all this with this beautiful view right here how can you go wrong the best part is the fruits and they're just so fresh and they smell so delicious so sweet and juicy everything's just awesome we just finished eating and the place we ate at is called surf sea breeze and as you saw the surfers were out on the water the view was incredible the seas over there the sand everything is so nice and the breakfast was amazing and right now we're about to head to coconut tree hill and we're going to be taking a tuk tuk because my knee is bugging i cannot walk and it sucks like i can walk short distances but i can't bend my knee every step hurts I hope it gets better soon so we can get back to regular vlogging but now we're just going to go and take a tube. Uh, we made it to Coconut Tree Hill. We're actually walking there right now. We just got dropped off by our tuk tuk and it only cost us two dollars. And the ride for me was brutal because I have to bend my knee and it takes me like five minutes to bend it without pain and i don't know if it would have been easier to walk or to ride this thing but we made it and we're here and we're good let's go check it out we made it to the top of coconut tree hill and this place is so famous every article that we read said to come visit here you've probably seen this picture on many instagrams and you can just look out into the entire area and see how beautiful it is the different parts all the coconut trees sticking out in the background and it's just beautiful behind me this place does get pretty busy and it's constantly people in and out so if you want to get a shot with you in the photo and nobody else you'll have to come early in the morning and me and Zay are waiting right now just for it to clear out so we can get our shot with nobody in it but we'll see if that ends up happening or not in the meantime while we wait we can just sit here and watch the surfers right there in the water there's a couple of them right there Make sure you guys come here at sunrise or super early morning because we literally waited like 30 minutes to get a video with not a single person in it. There's people taking multiple pictures, checking their pictures, retaking the pictures. People keep coming up the hill, going down the hill. So like, if you want a nice shot with nobody in it, you have to come here early. But we got our shot because we had to ask, but we got it. <laughs> we had our moment here. We enjoyed it. We loved it. We listened to the waves. We saw the coconut trees. Now we are off to Parrot Rock, which is right behind me. There is Parrot Island in the distance, or that little rock. And next to Coconut Tree Hill, there is a very, very nice bar right here that you can come to and enjoy some drinks as well as take their beautiful photos. Here's the bar I was just talking about. It's called Sunset Bar, and it's right by the beach, as you can tell. And you can see there's spring lights hung up, so this must be very beautiful at nighttime too. And what we're going to do later on in the vlog is we're going to go out at nighttime and show you guys our resort and how it looks like at night too because a lot of the resorts on the beach side are really lit up and beautiful at night. So the most important part of any beach experience is the sunscreen. You cannot forget the sunscreen because you will have a very bad time if you get burnt. And we didn't put sunscreen on until this morning because we were rushing out of there. So let's get it on him now. I'm probably already burnt a little bit but Better late than ever, I guess. Definitely do it before you leave if possible. So we just came from Coconut Tree Hill. We opted for walking because Attila can't really bend his leg and it's not that far to Parrot Rock. 
and as we were walking on the beach we came across some black sand how cool is that i've never seen black sand in my life if you guys can hear the music lightly and there's a bunch of bars on the beach that you can chill at and just have an awesome time we're loving the music just walking to the rock that is right there so we're just pulling up to the rock right there as you can see it's looking pretty cool there are some stairs to go up which i'm not too excited about but we will do it for the vlog and for ourselves as well of course but we're going to show you guys what's up there let me check it out you can see the beaches are pretty full there's a lot of people swimming and the weather is gorgeous right now it's All so sunny, nice out blue skies and it's really beautiful You guys see right there i'm gonna zoom in if you don't but i'm pretty sure you could see all those black things are sea urchins and that's exactly why i'm suffering right now and i can barely make it up the stairs there's literally probably around a thousand sea urchins just right in this area all around every rock and everywhere so avoid rocky areas is what i learned even though when i got hit by one i wasn't really in a rocky area it just was like a hidden rock under the water but uh, here's the view so far from the hill and it's looking beautiful you can see the whole beach and this beach is pristine there's literally no seaweed on it or anything like that it's just perfect sand and the waters are awesome crystal clear as you can see the top of parrot rock is just another viewpoint that's so beautiful you can look out into the ocean and just see the mountain of rocks and the water's just crashing against them and just so beautiful. It's also very nice and breezy up here so you get a cool fresh feeling and there are still people here but not as many as Coconut Tree Hill. Now that we're done exploring Parrot Rock, we're gonna go back down and go along Marissa Beach and sit at a bar and try some drinks. So part of getting on top of here, there are steps but the rest of it is like a little bit of a climb where they have bamboo sticks and it's kind of difficult and Atola is a champ for doing it with a broken leg it's basically. much harder going down than it is going up for me that's what i'm talking about the little bamboo stick to get up the rock and look at there's so many people coming time for us to get down the sand is pristine there is zero seaweed there is no trash the beaches here are looking so so beautiful and we're just walking along the beach now and you guys will see there's a ton of places to sit at and eat drink and it's a really amazing beach really besides just walking on the beach and tanning there are tons of other activities that you can go along this marissa beach you can go whale watching you can take surf lessons you can rent sea dews and a lot more stuff so it's not going to be boring it's not just tanning and walking although that is beautiful as well but there's a lot of other stuff you can do here also we've been walking past all of these resorts and hotels and homestays and they all say they have availability so if you spontaneously come here and didn't book a place there's a lot of places to stay here and for super cheap too we made it to a restaurant slash bar by the beach and they do have a very extensive double-sided menu as you can see over here it's called central beach restaurant and inn and they also have a nice drinks menu and Zay and I just had breakfast so we're not gonna get any food but we got each a couple beers and uh, some drinks well I think Zay didn't get a beer I got a beer and a drink and she got a cocktail so we'll show you guys when that arrives but yeah they have specials all the time so make sure you guys go by the beach and check a couple places to make sure you're getting a good deal because a lot of them do offer specials like a lot of their drinks are a thousand but they're half price right now so uh, it's uh, worthwhile checking out there's nothing more relaxing than laying by a beach, sipping a cocktail, listening to the waves. And I got a blue Hawaiian with coconut cream, uh, rum, some other syrup, like a colorful syrup or something, with a piece of pineapple, and it just sounded delicious. I saw someone drinking it yesterday, so I decided to order it today. And Atua went with the basics, simple but delicious, a vodka lemon. And he also got a beer on the side because the beers are huge here. Look at that. 
and they're like 500 which is like two or three dollars and we're just enjoying our cocktails let me take a sip of this though it tastes like drinking like a coconut milkshake with like alcohol in it it's so good we just finished our drinks and we have situated ourselves right here on the beach and we are just going to relax and enjoy the sun also speaking of sun it usually says that it's gonna rain the time that we've been here but when it says it's gonna rain it says like 50 or 80 percent chance but it rains for like a, a minute or it doesn't rain at all or i'm not really sure but do not believe the weather when it says it's gonna rain because it usually ends up being pretty sunny as you guys have seen us wandering the beach and how nice it is in the sunny weather and we did not chance it because it's clear skies it started spitting a little bit when we were having our drinks, but seems to have cleared up now. These waves are so harsh. We were swimming yesterday and I was literally getting knocked over, pushed into the water. There's like hey. sand in my ear. Hi! <laughs> People are awesome. Uh, yeah, there's literally a bunch of sand in my ear. Like, just, I couldn't even like hear anything for the past like day or two. Be careful when you're swimming in these waters and they do rush up like pretty high with the waves. Cool. We've seen a bunch of hermit crabs on the beach and these are the holes that they come through. There's not one here right now, but we see these little holes all over the beach and they're so cute. There's also like a little turtle like egg conservation area right here. And there's like a bunch of eggs in, on each side, like hundreds of eggs on each side that you're not allowed to go touch or go near. But I think that's so cool. I wish I was here to see the turtles come out of their shells. That would be an experience. We were just chilling and this boat pulled up and they are blasting music so loud, like beats that you can hear from so far away. And it just makes me want to be on that boat right now. I don't really know what service it is or if it's private, but it's coming pretty close to shore. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's a little too close for my liking. <laughs> we are gonna go test out the waters right now. The waves are looking pretty intense. I'm kind of nervous because I've been getting tossed around in them. And I don't know, we're just gonna go test them out right now. Let's go. the point of view of a massive wave coming. I don't know if it's visible on camera. The sun did tire us out and after swimming and having all the fun, we went back to our room, took a nap, and then we changed. We're back at the beach for dinner and dinner time is a whole different vibe with the sunset, with the restaurants, they change up their tables with candles and we just can't wait to show you everything. Yeah, during the day it's actually super hot so you don't see too many people going crazy on the beach. Mostly sun tanning, relaxing and in the ocean. But nighttime it cools down a little bit and it's awesome. Well, there's still quite a bit of people walking the beach and everything like that. But at nighttime all the restaurants at every single resort and everywhere they're packed. And there's a lot of people out and it just looks beautiful. And the sun is setting right now. It's a tiny bit cloudy but not too much. Uh, yeah, it's about to be really beautiful. Marissa Beach is a super touristy area. We don't know if it's just high peak and tourist season right now, but all we see is mostly tourists and we have seen some locals coming and swimming or walking the shore, but I would say like 98% of the people are tourists. At nighttime, as you're walking along the beach, all of the restaurants put out all the freshly caught fish. Some of them have squid and clams and different kind of stuff. As you can see behind us over there, there's a whole bunch of fish out. There's squid hanging from the pole. And also, a lot of restaurants have specials and they have them uh, written out on chalkboards just like this. The other night, we ordered a fresh full fish and the way it was prepared was absolutely delicious. We enjoyed it, we loved it. The only thing I didn't like is it came as a full fish so there was bones and stuff in it so you had to pick through the bones while eating it. That was the only part that wasn't good. Everything else was amazing and I would definitely recommend it if you love seafood to try the fresh fish 
at the restaurant where you get to hand pick it and they cook it for you. Oh, yeah. I have a question. Yeah. How, how much is this big <laughs> Normally this kind of one you can have around uh, 4,000. Like that. This wow. kind of side, yeah, one. That's a big piece for that one. Yeah, but you can share something like a two person can eat sometimes, you know, sharing. Oh, yeah, not only one one actually. Yeah. But if it's not, you can try some mullets or red yeah, mullets. Yeah, we had we had the fish two this nights one, ago. This one, yeah, yeah, this one. Good. But you can have the red one as a well, red groupers. Yeah, also very really nice one, you know. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah. The sunset is looking absolutely beautiful guys but I can't wait till the sun sets so we can show you all the candles because the beach does truly light up at nighttime and it looks really beautiful. A lot of the palm trees are also decorated. Well not a lot of them but this one right here as you can see they have uh, lights all up them and it looks very very interesting. And we just love walking the beach and checking out all the fish and see what every uh, different restaurant has. Oh, I was going to say something. Also, a lot of the different restaurants host events. Like two nights ago, there was a DJ and a bunch of loud music. Tonight, we see a Red Bull tent. And when you see a Red Bull tent, you know there's a party about to happen. We just talked to the guy right outside the Red Bull tent. And you can already hear they're testing the speakers. They're setting everything up. And he said that the party's going to be starting in one hour. And also, Saturday when we were out on the beach, we saw there was a lot of parties on Saturday and Sunday. Well, the weekend obviously is some of the craziest days on the beach here. They have fireworks and they're going to have fireworks here as well. I don't think we're going to film it with the big camera because by that time we're going to put it away. But we'll try and get you some footage from the phone at least and show you guys. After walking all along the beach and checking out all the different restaurants, we finally picked one. We're going to be eating at this one. It's called Zook. Also, shout out to my friend Zook. <laughs> His name is not spelled like that, but uh, as you can tell, all the tables are all set up all along the beach. They're putting out the lights right now. We'll show you guys that in a little bit. And this restaurant right behind me has a lot of beautiful, beautiful lighting. So we're about to order some food. Uh, this one that we picked out has all kinds of food, including the squid. They have baby sharks and everything. So we're super excited to eat. We're really hungry and we'll show you guys what we get. As you can see, all the candle lights are out on the tables all along the beach and it's looking so beautiful and i gotta say that this restaurant right here is one of my favorite ones you can tell they have bean bags laid out that you can sit on you can order a hookah as well there's some people smoking it right there and also there's a lot of beautiful lights and i'm just a sucker for lights honestly it's looking so nice and it's such a nice vibe i think also the beach just look at all the lights Thank you so much. We just had our food served to us by our waiter and it just looks so amazing. And we're sitting by the ocean, we're sitting by the sea. What is more appetizing than trying fresh seafood? Attila got the yellow tuna steak with mashed potatoes and grilled vegetables. It's the chef's special. And I had a fresh grilled fish the other day, so I opted for the fried salty tuna and chips which also comes with a little salad. And we also got an appetizer, a seafood cocktail. And just look at how awesome that looks. Everything smells so delicious and fresh and I just can't wait to try it. Let me show you guys firsthand. So thick and meaty, it's not like it's mostly meat it's not like the batter the batter is very light and it's salty and delicious and just you can tell how fresh it is it's awesome we just finished eating and let me just say i'm at a complete loss for words that meal was absolutely incredible both zay's meal and mine were so delicious and being by the sea listening to the waves the atmosphere everything absolutely flawless if you're coming to Mersa Beach, check this place out. It's called Zook by Mersa Beach and it's so good. The food was incredible. If you're not going to come here, at least go to one of the places by the beach because it's so worth it to have that experience getting the fresh seafood that was probably caught today. And uh, I can't say enough good things about it. So make sure you guys come and check it out. We're going to go to the party tent and mixing a professional camera and trying to take care of it with partying never goes well so we're gonna put the camera away
want to thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.